reset, redistribute, and rebuild. And that's all we're going to do over the next two to three years. So by the time 2024 comes, we'll be fully in control. Our destiny is ours. How we want to implement policies in favor of what we believe in and how we're trying to channel and to build this country over the next 20 to 50 years starts now. One woman, one man, one vote. We're taking over. So don't be distracted by the sideshows. Don't be distracted by the rhetoric and the narratives that have been built for a long time that keep us divided. We're going to pull together and we're going to make this happen for ourselves. And we will not be dependent on handouts from anybody else. We will deliver free education and we will create opportunities for each other. As, a, as an entire nation, as a whole, we're bringing this thing together. So hold on tight, it's going to be a bumpy ride, but we will get over that line. Commander Bingo in Mapumulo, I'm going to be seeing you soon. Um, I've listened to the voice notes that have made the rounds that are in circulation on the Mkonto West Caesar military veterans, um, what they've been saying. You have led and you're not afraid to be led. I have led, I'm not afraid to be led, and I'm looking forward to sitting down and discussing on how we're going to move this thing forward. And finally, uh, Mr. Jacob Zuma. As a politician, I appreciate what you're doing. Keep fighting for what you believe in. I respect what you're doing for you. Jacob Zuma, the politician, it's your constitutional right to fight for yourself. You've got rights too, so keep fighting the good fight. There is no constitutional crisis that will be created from you defending yourself. And to Jacob Zuma, the father, I appreciate you. You were leading from the front as always. Thank you very much for teaching us how to fight. And we love you, man. You know this. Keep fighting. And a luta continua. See you soon.